The crucial finance portfolio will be run by former Justice Minister Patrick Chinamasa, who in 2009 formally introduced dollarization. He needs to inspire confidence in an economy that had slowed ahead of the polls. For me, he's the best of the group that could actually handle finance. Whether he'll be able to actually account for the diamond revenues, whether he'll be able to say, listen guys, we have to limit uh, you know, extraordinary expenditure, I don't know what discipline he's going to have. A plus is the fact that this is a leaner cabinet. Under an inclusive government, Zimbabwe had 33 ministers. However, Chinamasa himself has no illusions about the task that awaits him. The uh, major objective is to grow the economy, uh, to increase indigenous participation in the economy from the level where we are, uh, but we do so under a regime of sanctions, and that is the reality. So we have to intensify new friendships, new economic relationships. A new Minister of Empowerment, Francis Nema, is viewed as moderate, but is unlikely to drastically depart from Mugabe's controversial indigenization drive. Neymar is a quiet kind of guy. He probably gets down and do whatever has to be done. So we're going to get the same process but with a little less noise. One of the biggest criticisms of the new government is its failure to adhere to a 50-50 proportional representation by women in line with the new constitution passed in March. I'm not very happy, but uh, I am sympathizing with His Excellency that uh, really he tried to balance Mugabe also had to pick a minister from each of the country's 10 provinces. The delicate balancing act could have been behind the delay in announcing the cabinet, which is now in place more than a month after the elections. It appears the jury is still out on Zimbabwe's new government. People still digesting those cabinet appointments and perhaps waiting on the ministers to take up their offices and start work before making their determination on whether it's been good or or bad. The one thing though that is agreed upon across the board is the fact that the announcement has finally been made. A new government now in place and ready to get down to the business of running this country. Farai Makutuya, CCTV, Harare, Zimbabwe.